everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I'm joined with my co-host Minho <laughs> behind the Walmart dumpster. <laughs> again, once again. Yeah, we can't get enough of the Walmart dumpster. They have so much variety back here. Maybe I'll upgrade this to somewhere else. Yeah, Target is a good one, but they keep pepper spraying us for going back there, so... I mean, they probably keep pepper spraying you because you keep buying cotton candy. No, what do you mean? I'm giving cotton them sales. Monster. <laughs> Let me have this, man. Cotton candy's so good. Did you buy more? No, not yet. I, I gotta finish the candy that I have in my basket before I go buy more. That's that's the rule I have in my house because of myself. You're actually gonna get diabetes. I've never seen someone eat that much candy in that short period of time. Fun fact, every, throughout my entire senior year of high school, pretty much every day I sold candy, I, uh, I had a, a two liter of soda with me at all times and I finished it in that day. Oh my god. So I don't have a diabetes yet, but it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely gonna get kidney stones though. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, we're not here to talk about my sugar intake today. Gingy already lectures me enough about that. <laughs> today we're, uh, I guess, in, I guess, in celebratory state of Kung Fu Panda Four, and also the wheel told us to. We're gonna be reading more Shin Fu X Reader. <laughs> Did you watch that movie? Four. Yeah, the, the fourth one. Not yet. I need to. I've heard people say that it's bad, but I, I want to see for myself. Oh. I don't know what the premise is. There's this chameleon, and she kind of, like, takes the forms of the past villains in the last three movies, because, you know, chameleons, like, blend into this, or, like, she, like, turns into them. Oh, okay. Wasn't yeah. that, like, a similar premise to, like, I forgot if it was two or three. Three had some kind of weird dude in it. Three, uh, like two, I don't remember what two was about. No, two was the peacock, and you murdered oh, both yeah, family. Was <laughs> Three was like, he could turn you to stone or something. Yeah, so like green emerald. Like jade, green jade, that's yeah. it. Yeah. He was like, I need to collect all the masters and everyone will be under my command. <laughs> <laughs> and that that's all I remember. <laughs> All right. I'll have to watch it, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this chapter's called Goodbye, Master. If, if this is, well, according to Kung Fu Panda 1 lore, movie accuracy thing, this is when, uh, th isn't this when the turtle is like, my time has come, and then, like, you guys gotta continue on without me, man. I'm dipping. <laughs> I don't think he yeah. says it like that. He probably yeah. says we're wise, but... <laughs> All right, I'm out. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna head out. I do not have a physical coin, but I can tell Google to flip a coin for me. If that works. Yes. Alright, do you wanna be heads Share or tails? Share your screen, I don't trust you. What do you mean, share screen? Share your screen. I'm just gonna. Coin. Well, how about I just tell my little Google phone to flip a coin and I'll put the mic, like, close to the mic. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Alright, do you want me heads or tails? Uh, tails. Flip a coin. Is it not gonna fucking flip a coin? It says I got heads. Okay, so I get to read. I don't know why I didn't read it out loud. I guess my <laughs> thing's a little fucked up. But anyway, you landed on heads, so I, <laughs> I gotta read. Alright. All right. All right, oh yeah, I forgot our peacock's name is Will Smith. I love Will oh, Smith. Oh, that is. Yeah. Will Smith. He's a he's a heavy hitter. Yeah. Chris Rock knows. <laughs> yeah. I walk through the halls of the bear kicks and hear noises. I follow them to the students' hall. I walk to the hall to see Tigress looking at one of the doors. I stop behind the corner and listen in. According to the legend, there was once a time when the masters used to smile. No. That was before before what? Before Tylon. Tigress bursted out of Person into one of the rooms, but I feel pain in my heart as Crane says, Yeah, we're not supposed to talk about him. Well, if he's going to stay here, he should know. Guys, guys, I know about Tai Long. He was a student, the first 
ever to master the thousand scroll of Kung Fu. But he turned bad and... The panda started mumbling, his voice ever so slightly raising in pitch. Damn, he's like geeking out. He's like, oh, actually, I already, I already know the lore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wasn't just a student. Will Smith found him as a cub, brought him in. Aaron Chifu raised him as their own. And when the boys showed talent in Kung Fu, Chifu was thrilled to train him. They believed in him and told him he was destined for greatness. I was never enough for Tai Lung. He wanted the dragon skull. But Uwe saw darkness in his heart and refused. Outraged, Tai Long laid waste in the valley. He tried to take the scroll by force, and Shifu had to destroy what he had helped to create. But how could he? Shifu and Will Smith loved Tai Long like they never loved anyone before or since. I wiped the tear from my eye, the memories threatening to fall out of him in a form of cries. <laughs> I don't even know who's talking because there's no like <laughs> no indication. It's back and forth. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, it's one of the fucking Furious Five talking or fucking Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> and now he has a chance to make things right, to train the true dragon warrior, and he's stuck with you, a big fat panda who treats it like oh, a joke. Yeah, that's that's Tigers. <laughs> yeah. I can tell. I hear a voice. I hear a noise and Tigers yells as I sit up and silently walk away to a to the sacred peach tree of wisdom to calm myself. When I get there, Master Uwe and Shifu are there. Ah, Shifu. There is just news. There is no good or bad. Oh shit, wait, that was <laughs> that was Uwe. Oops. I forgot we don't speak. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the lore. <laughs> Oopsies. Master, your vision. Your vision was right. Tai Long has broken out of prison. He's on his way. I walk closer to them, but from, from behind Shifu, nervously standing beside her. That is bad news. If you believe the Dragon Warrior will not be able to stop him. I feel Shifu tense beside me. And I pull my wing on his back. Oh, put- oh, that- okay. <laughs> that- okay. I can- are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the panda? Master, that panda is not the dragon warrior. And he was never meant to be, be there. I caught it and without thinking. It was an accident, Shifu finishes my thought. <laughs> there are no accidents. There we go, he said the line. Oh my god, he said the line. <laughs> I think in the thumbnail of the first one, I put the, f the I put that line, but I was like, maybe there are such things as accidents. <laughs> what do you mean? We're reading this, Minho. <laughs> yeah, there are no accidents. Dude, you got me sitting here on a Saturday reading fucking Kung Fu Panda fan fiction. <laughs> I I wouldn't have it any other way. All right. <laughs> Yes, we know, we answer in unison, looking down. We've already s You've already said that already. Twice, Sh Shifu adds. Well, there's no ax- That was no accident, neither. Thrice, I add in, slightly awkward. My old friends, the panda will never fulfill his destiny. Nor you yours. Wait, nor you yours. <laughs> Until you let go of the vision of control. Oh, so shit, the illusion. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, illusion? Yes. Look at this tree, you two. I cannot make it bloom when it suits me, nor make it bear fruit before its time. But there are things we can control. Shifu kicks the tree, making the, tr the fruit fall. I can control when the fruit will fall, Shifu adds, and the peach hits him on the head. And Uwe chuckles. And I can control. Shifu jumps in the air, cutting a peach. Where the seed. Where to plant the seed. That is no illusion, Master. Shifu says, catching the pit and throwing it into the earth. Ah, yes, but no matter what you do, that seed will grow into a peach tree. You may wish for an apple or orange, but you will get a peach. But the peach can't not defeat Tai Long. Maybe it can, if you are willing to guide it, to nurture it, to believe in it. But how? How? We need your help, Master, Shifu says, motioning to himself to me. 
No, but you just need to believe. Promise me, Will Smith, Shifu. Promise me you'll believe. Uh, I'll try. Hmm, good. Ugwe stands up, watching the pale p pink petals drift slowly to the ground. <laughs> oh my god, another line! My time has come, fades into the abyss. <laughs> my time has come. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, they even got the stuttering of like the whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> My time has come. I start to slight get slightly worked up. M master? I asked, trying to clear the statement. You must continue your journey without me, Ugwe says, as he hands the staff to me and Shifu. What are we like holding that like the bottom end and then Shifu's holding like the the the, the, the little <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. imagining that. <laughs> What, what, what are you- what are you- wait, master, you can't leave us, Shifu says, dropping the staff and following Ugwe slightly. You must believe, Ugwe says, hands put together and bowing his head just a tad bit. I hold his staff tighter my, and bow my head, letting my tears fall freely as I hear Shifu calling it for our former master. I like how he just fades into, like, this, like, material. He doesn't just, like, drop down dead or just, like, go fuck off into, like, the, the mountains or whatnot. He just goes, <laughs> and just dies. He returns to the Force. Yeah. Like, uh, Star Wars. Oh my god, you're right. That's what they do in Star Wars. This is what Kung Fu Panda copied. <laughs> Alright, do you want to read for Shifu's POV real quick? Alright. Much left. Like half? Alright. Yeah. We walk back to the dining hall. Small sniffles erupting from Will Smith as she clutches onto our only connection to Master Ugwe. We enter the dining room and the panda is doing an impression of me. They laugh for a few seconds before sending us behind the panda. It's Shifu, Monkey whispers. Of course it's Shifu. What did you think I was doing? The panda sees me and stands up making a slurping noise. Oh, Master Shifu. You think this is funny? Tai Lung has escaped from prison and you're acting like children. What? He's coming for the dragon scroll and you are the only one who can stop him. I tell the panda and I see bowls fall to the floor and then he laughs. And here I'm saying you have no sense of humor. I'm gonna... The panda trails off looking at my face. What? You're serious? Or what? You're serious. And I have to... He starts making noises, unable to comprehend what to say. Master Ugwe will stop him. He did it before and he'll do it again. Ugwe cannot. Not anymore, I say, as Will Smith walks in holding the staff to her, with a pitiful look to my face. Damn sad. <laughs> Will Smith's POV. The students all make a noise of surprise and turn to me. Our only hope is the dragon warrior, I say. Soft and barely audible. The panda? Shifu snaps at her as he takes a staff. Yes, the panda. Masters, please, let us stop Tai Lung. This is what you've trained us for. No, it is not your destiny to defeat Tai Lung. It is his. I'm just, I'm actually just remembering this dialogue now, because this is like the exact dialogue from the movie now. Yeah, like, they just put on Kung Fu Panda 1, and we're sitting there, and they're like, Write that down, write that down! And they're, like, typing away at their computer as they're trying to keep up with the, <laughs> the movie. <laughs> Where'd he go? I smiled internally from his voice of confusion, and point down the hall. As Shifu starts after the panda, I turn down the hall to make my way to my room. After the turnaround at the stairs. Uh, parentheses, still Will Smith's POV. There's a knock as I sit down, trying to calm myself. Come in. The door opens, and a sad-looking Shifu comes into view. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb. You're fine, Shifu. I say after I sigh. He looks partially relieved as he closes the door. Shifu, will you sit with me? It was silent for a moment. I look at him, and he stutters out a reply of agreement. He sits next to me and I put my head on his shoulder. Chief, what are we gonna do? Uh, I'm not sure, Will Smith, he says, and puts an arm around my shoulder. 
I let out a yawn, and Shifu shuffles a little. Will Smith? I gave him a hum in response. If you want to, you can fall asleep. I'll leave. I opened my eyes and raised my head, looking into his... Shifu, well, would you mind staying? I look at him, and he gives me a slightly confused look. Or, confused face. I love the 33 comments <laughs> on the side of this. <laughs> I gotta know what, what they what? say. What is it? <laughs> Stay, what hey, hey, lord, show me how to sing. Well, okay, hold on. Okay, one of these is just like a face and it has 27 replies to it. <laughs> what? I don't know how to describe the face. They like made it out of their keyboard things. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I forgot this was a an ex reader. <laughs> it was like full Kung Fu Panda lore, and now it just like randomly gets to this. Dude, I love that when I when I sometimes read like OC X like like a fandom, and they just kind of like just self insert themselves into this this story and add nothing to them. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to. It's just, I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. I say, looking down, feeling my heartbeat qu quicken, and I look at him. I suppose, she who answers, sounding like he's embarrassed. I asked. I give him a small smile and lay my head back on his shoulder as I get comfy and fall asleep. With Shifu sleepily stroking my back. Thank you, Shifu. Wait, what, uh, what animal is the, uh, Will Smith? We're a peacock, remember? Oh, they're a peacock. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I told you it, but somebody commented on the uh, the first Kung Fu Panda one that we did, and apparently uh -huh. peacocks can fly. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember when I said that, but I'm saying it now at least. If someone's falling up. <laughs> I I actually did see the video, and yeah, they they can fly. Yeah. Or it was like. They were kind of like gliding. I don't know if they were like up in the air like a bald eagle, but they were. They, it was <laughs> Can you fun. imagine you're driving down like down like the highway and you look up and there's just a peacock just flying, <laughs> like like with the, like some hawks. <laughs> like what the hell? I think it's more like chickens. Like chickens can fly somewhat, but they're not for like long distance, you know? Yeah, they just float down. Yeah. Kind of like, um, what are those things called, like, flying squirrels? Where they kind of, like, just glide? Because they technically can't flap their, like, little flap skins. Oh, um, what is it? Like, a sugar glider? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, third person POV. Will Smith fell asleep and Shifu stayed with her, as, she, as he promised. About 20 minutes after Will Smith fell asleep, Shifu told her sleeping form... But Shifu told her sleeping form the one thing he's wanted to for so long. I love you, Will Smith. <laughs> he kisses her cheek and she unconsciously snuggles closer to him. Then Shifu falls asleep, a smile on his face and his unknowing love in his arms. I know, I know he's supposed to be a peacock, but I keep picturing Will Smith and Master Shifu. So it's <laughs> what a curse ship image created. in my mind. It's just... <laughs> It's overpowering the peacock. Not Will Smith. <laughs> oh my god, look at the next meme for the, the chapter. Fucking angry cat and then Shifu. <laughs> oh, they look the same thing. Yeah. I never realized. Bro, that's literally the same person. Alright, there's a, there's a new thing. Okay, F slash S, favorite snack. What do you think Will Smith's favorite snack is? Um... I have no idea. Well, what would a celebrity like? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna go with like fries. Like caviar or something. <laughs> no, I just strip cap. <laughs> Straight up. You know, fuck it, caviar. Why? Well, hey, why are you right. calling us to replace that? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it comes up in the story. It's <laughs> just. It's like you need to notice this. Just the yeah, you need to. The um, you the need story. To, yeah, you need to make a favorite snack for your character right now, or else the whole story's gonna fall apart. Character's favorite color. Character's favorite food. Character's just gonna insert everything. 
Yeah, by the end of this, we're gonna have like 20 things to keep track of. <laughs> Alright, uh, what is this fucking chapter? Oh, the threat. Okay, this is probably gonna be when Tai Long fucking shows up. Oh, and just whoops the Fantastic Five. Yeah, I remember Shifu sh like showing up for that part with the whole bridge thing where he's like, finally, our battle will be legendary kind of thing. I think he's like at the end when they uh, when they're like, oh, the Dragon Scroll has literally nothing written on it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll fi figure out a second. Third person POV. The next morning was silent, unknowing to the masters. The, f the five left for the entrance of the valley the night before. Shifu's ear twitches, then the shuffles in his sleep. Another small noise sounds through the palace ground, but definitely audible to him. Shifu's eyes scrounge up in, in his sleep, another noise, and his eyes slowly open, only to squint into the sun, the sunlight. Shifu's POV! <laughs> Let out a groan as I try to sit up, and then stop feeling a pressure on my chest. I open my eyes, shielding my eyes from the light to see Will Smith, and everything from last night comes back to me. I smile. I hug her softly, and she cuddles closer, making a small noise. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean... This is where I like how this is where I draw the line. Where literally, like during the Harvey X Reader shit, like I read some some fucking grotesque things, but I'm pausing at the fluff. <laughs> you can't you can't read wholesome stuff. Come I guess on. not. That's a big that's like a big uh, meme in the in the Wattpad community. Well, any kind of fan fiction community is like some people would just sit there reading smut with like a straight face in public, making no reaction to it. But fluff shows up and they're like fucking smiling, giggling, kicking their feet, kind of thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. To be fair, I wouldn't want to read that either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can do this. So cute, I say, kissing her cheek. I unwrap her arms from my torso and quickly. And quietly sneak out of the room, leaving Will Smith to sleep. I'm making my way to the kitchen as I hear the noise. Someone yelling. I head to the training grounds. I open the door to nothing. No one is training. Then the noise again. I turn my head to the source in the noise. The kitchen. I get there as the panda throws his fist through a cupboard. He pulls out a cracker and stuffs it in his mouth. He chews until he sees me. I look around. I oh, oh, now I remember. I, I look around to see cabinet doors off their hinges and baskets empty. <laughs> Motherfucker just ate everything. <laughs> what? I eat when I'm upset, okay? Oh, no need to explain. I just thought you'd be monkey. Oh. I, I just thought you'd be in monkey's almond cookies. He hides them on the top shelf. I say, realization hitting me. I slowly walk out of the room to, hi to, hide, to hide behind the broken door. I hear movement. I re-enter the room. A few In a few seconds, I wasn't there. The panda had managed to climb out the shelf and do a perfect split. <laughs> Don't tell monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, I know. I disgust you. No, no. I mean, how did you get up there? I don't know. I was just... I don't know. I was just getting a cookie. <laughs> he says, putting another almond cookie in his mouth. And yet you are f ten feet off the ground and have done a perfect split. No, this is, this is just a, an accident, the panda says, falling into the ground. A cookie rolls to his feet and I pick it up. There are no accidents. Come with me. Skip the walking. <laughs> that it. He said the line. Yeah. Come on, birds, say the line. <laughs> When we reach the training grounds, Ugwe taught me, I go to a rock by the pools. The panda flops down and gathers water with his hands. You drag me all the way here for a bath? Panda, we do not wash our pits in the sacred pool of tears. Struggle <laughs> watch. Oh, jeez. The pool of the panda shakes his hand. This is where Ugwe unraveled the mysteries of harmony and focus. This is the birthplace of Kung Fu. <laughs> oh. Alright, Will Smith POV. I I wake up to Shifu gone. The spot he laid cold. 
I sighed and got up, stretching, and soothing out my ruffle feathers. I stood up, make my way to the door, and slip into the hallway. I look over most of the palace for the panda. Shifu, one of the Furious Five, anyone, as, as, as I make it to the, the, wait, <laughs> as make it the grounds, <laughs> or some, as something falls to the ground, just inside the outer walls, I see myself a little quicker and turn to see the five, Shifu, and the panda. From what I could see, the panda and Shifu were fine. Crane was tired and the rest petrified. No, they're sleeping. No, their eyes are open, Panda says, going from one to the next. I rest to Shifu's side to listen to Crane. We were no match for his nerve attack, Crane says, as Shifu and I set an un- What the fuck? <laughs> Petri unpetrified the other four. He has gotten stronger, I said, slightly nervous. Who's Tylong? The Panda says as I release- Panda's nerves, and he punches Poe. He's too fast! Monkey yells, coming out of his frozen state. Sorry, Poe. Monkey tells him as Shifu starts on Tigress and I on Viper. I thought we could stop him. He could have killed you, I say, not even looking. Why didn't he? Mantis asks as I finish on Viper. So you could come back here and strike fear into our hearts. But it won't work, Shifu answers. Uh, it might, I mean, a little. I mean, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by Shifu, quietly listening to the conversation, but not really paying attention. My mind leaves to think about Tai Long. I turn to the five to see them all disheveled. All dis. healed? Disheveled? The fuck? Disheveled? Dishe. that really? Disheveled. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I've never actually seen the word. <laughs> and Warren, he's done too much. He's hurt the student Shifu cares for. My son, or not, he has to be shot. I come back when the panda smiles. Shifu, the f the five Po and I make our way to the hall of warriors. Shifu takes Ugwe's staff and goes to the pool, starting his movements. I walk to his side and start to copy his movements. Side by side, we move perfectly. S swing the air and flower petals together. They swirl, leading up to the dragon holding the scroll. One of the petals lands on it. Slowly, it slides from the statue's mouth. Shifu watches it and catches it with the staff, letting it just barely touch the water. His ears perk, and I smile at how cute his fluffy ears are. <laughs> God damn it. No, reread that. I didn't no, hear that. No, that's good. He takes it <laughs> and holds it out to Poe. Behold, the dragon scroll. It, it is yours. Wait, was this fast? Wait, was it what? Wait, really? What, was it this fast? I remember him having to do the whole training thing. <laughs> I guess that was it when he was oh, like yeah, discovered in the, the kitchen. Training arc. Damn. The training arc's the best part. <laughs> I guess this uh, book would be too long. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> Behold, the dragon scroll. It is yours. Wait, what happens when I read it? No one knows, but legends say, Shifu continues and I zone out, wishing I had my caviar right now. <laughs> really? Really? My, that's the insert? My my fancy rich food caviar in a big bowl. Oh, hold on, I'm looking. If this is the only mention. I started thinking about life. When I see Shifu's ears move, and I start thinking about reaching out and touching them, or the fluffiness, I... He calls his tail. That one was weird to type. <laughs> I step out of it oh. when the panda starts to yell. <laughs> this was the only mention of the favorite snack. Just one line. Yay! In the I... whole chapter. Just why? <laughs> what really is the point? important. <laughs> what is the point? I don't know. <laughs> to show that we really love caviar. <laughs> oh, God. It's... Blank. What? Here, look. No, I am forbidden to look upon. Shifu stops and snatches the scroll, dropping Ugwe's staff, opening, closing, and reopening it over and over. I look over his shoulder. Nothing. It is blank. I picked up Ugwe's stick and stand back where I was, thinking. Blank. I don't... I don't understand. 
Okay, so, like, Uguay was just a crazy old turtle after all? No, Uguay was wiser than any of us. Oh, come on, face it, he picked me by accident. Of course I'm not the dragon warrior, who am I kidding? Pooh sit Poe sits on the ground. But who will stop Tidelong? I to Tigress, who looks uneasy. Then, at Shifu. He'll destroy everything, and everyone. No, evacuate the valley. We must protect the villagers from Tai Lung's rage. What about you masters? Tigress asked, like a shy cub. She was... Like the shy cub she was when she started training. I will fight him. Master Will Smith will go with you. Damn, I don't even get to fight with- wow. <laughs> I am not the main character right now. <laughs> this is... Like... Just the whole Kung Fu Panda movie. Yeah. Except they get like a couple scenes. I love that so much for us. <laughs> oh god. I look at Shifu surprised. What? The panda asked before I can. I can hold him off long enough for everyone to escape. I looked at him as it hits me. But Shifu, he will kill you. Then I'll finally have paid for my mistake. I look down, tears forming as his words sink in. It wasn't his fault by Tai Lung. Listen to me, all of you. It is time for you to continue your journey without me. I was very proud to have been your master, Shifu says. Hands to put together and bow at his students, and then bowing back. They leave in silence as the door sh closes. Shifu turns to me. Will Smith? I keep my head down and slightly clench my hands. Will Smith, please look at me. I see Shifu's hands come into view, and lift my chin up. My focus goes from his hand to his sky-blue eyes. Slightly glistening <laughs> from- with held back tears, his eyes shine. Will Smith, you have to go. I feel my- I feel the walls falling- slowly fall and hug him. Why? Tell me, Shifu. Why push me away? I squeeze him a little as tears start to fall. We both- we both made him what he is. Please, tell me why I must go. I feel Shifu take a deep breath and slowly let out. So he let it out as he would not get the breath again. Will Smith, it, it's because I can't let you get hurt. I care for you more than I have in the past. I can't explain it, but in three words, oh no, god damn it. <laughs> I cannot keep going through this. <laughs> Go ahead. Go no. On. Shifu pulls back just a little and kisses the tip of my beak. A quick, sweet peck. <laughs> God damn it, with these dogs in the back. <laughs> Will Smith, I love you. I let my tears fall more freely, happy and sad at the same time. Really, Shifu? You're not pulling my feathers? Shifu smiles. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Huh? No, I don't want it. I, I don't. No. <laughs> only, okay. Only if you want me to. I give a small laugh and kiss him. Don't know what they would, but they would. They did. Okay. When we break for air, I smile, wiping tears away, and look into his eyes. I love you too, Shifu. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Everybody was read. kung fu fighting. What do you mean you don't want to read? No, I mean, why, why do I read these? I don't know. You chose to do this to yourself. Oh, that was a good drawing. <laughs> you know what? That is a pretty good drawing. Alright, everyone was kung fu fighting. This this is you, man. Alright. <laughs> uh, author's note. Okay. Will Smith's POV. I follow behind the five silently. We've got to get them out safely, Tiger says, taking charge as Monkey takes a piglet to find her mother. You know, you know, I was thinking about this, but uh, what if what if uh, Winnie the Pooh? Uh, hold on. What if Kung Fu Where Panda with us? <laughs> got motivation from Winnie the Pooh? Because the main character's name is you know Pooh. Mm -hmm. Main character's name here is Poe. And there's a there's a tiger there named Tigger. 
Right. And then we have Tigress here. You're you're done. You're gonna go sit in the corner now. <laughs> Oh, all right, or whatever. Viper, <laughs> gather the southern farmers. Mantis to north. Crane, light the way. She hands the lantern to Crane, who takes off to lead the people. Tigers looks back to me sympathetically, then turns to the fleeing villagers, making her way down the rest of the steps and helps the bunny family with their cart. The panda stops walking by my side, sadly looking at the village and its inhabitants leaving their homes. He continues walking and I watch as he turns into his father's shop. I silently stand on the steps, crying. I stop when I've realized how much I care for it, for Shifu. Wide-eyed, I turn back to the Jade Palace, my home. I glare at it in a look of determination. I'm coming, Shifu, I say, as I jump into the air, spreading my wings and turn myself to the palace. Please, just hold on, I say to myself, pleading to the gods he hasn't left me yet. Third POV. What is third POV? Oh, like third person POV? Yeah. As Will Smith flies as fast as she can, as, as fast as she can, her wings tiring, but her <laughs> grammar, this <laughs> whole sentence is fucked, but her <laughs> never stopping, Shifu stands in the entrance to the Hall of Warriors, patiently waiting for his son to return. With a flash of lightning, a crash of thunder, Shifu blinks. When he opens them, there towering over him is Tai Lung, his face unreadable as he stares Shifu down. I actually remember that now. Yeah. I like, <laughs> Shifu's POV. I have come home, Master, Tai Lung says, slightly lowering his head in bow. This is no longer your home, and I am no longer your master, I say, trying to keep the cracks in my voice to a minimum. Oh yes, you have a new favorite. So where is this home? He chuckles, then straightens his face. Did I scare him off? Clearing my conscience, accepting my fate, I try to look Tai Lung down. This battle is between you and me. Tai Lung's eyes show no emotions as he says. So, this is how it is going to be, turning his back to me. That is how it must be, I turn, standing my ground. Tai Lung grovels, then launches into the air, coming down. I squint my eyes to see him and jump, just barely missing his ground-crushing landing right where I was. He lifts and kicks a chunk of the earth. I punch through it to see Tai Lung right at me. Will Smith's POV. I begin to see the Hall of Warriors as I hear a crash. I push myself further, gasping for air. I land as Tai Lung kicks Master Rhino's armor at Shifu, who filled my head with dreams. Who drove me to train until my bones cracked? Who denied me my destiny? Tai Lung launches multiple weapons at Shifu. Without thinking, I fly, the fastest I've ever, hurling myself so fast as I pass the weapons I could hear them fly. Uh, landing in front of Shifu, I create a gust of wind to divert them away from myself and Shifu behind me. Tai Lung kicks up a heavy bladed weapon and as it flies, I move to the side, and Shifu grabs it, allowing it to force its way into the ground beside us. It was never my decision to make, Shifu yells to Tai Lung. He growls and charges us, turning to get to Ugly's staff, he picks it up, turning to us. It is now. Shifu rushes him as I stay back, waiting for the time to protect Shifu. Shifu manages to kick Tai Lung's chest and dodges attacks, but it comes to a close as Tai Lung pins Shifu to the floor using Uwe's staff. Give me the scroll. I would rather die, Tai Lung growls, and pushes further onto the staff, choking Shifu. I glare at my son and launch myself at him, using my nails to aim at his face. He raises an arm to protect himself from me, and the other arm forces his weight onto the staff. Snapping, cracking, and finally breaking it. Oh no, the staff. No, the symbolism is gone. <laughs> Shifu turns to the staff as Tai Lung grabs a hold of my feet, holding me upside down. Both Shifu and I stop, witnessing what had just happened. Tears forming in my eyes as petals float through the air so peacefully. Tai Lung runs and kicks Shifu before I can say anything. Shifu pushes against the wall as Tai Lung forces his weight onto Shifu. 
They break away as Chifu falls to the ground. Chifu takes off and Tailung drops me, following his teacher. Chifu bounces from pillar to pillar, column to column, his vengeance seeking student behind him. They fly through the roof and I try to get up to find them. I grab onto a column to support myself as they fall back into the hall with a yell. Tai Lung kicks Shifu right into the pillar I'm holding onto and he slides down to the ground. Tai Lung pounces on us as Shifu readies himself. What is Will Smith doing here? He's just getting his ass kicked alongside Shifu. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. All I ever did, I did to make you proud. Tell me how proud you are, Shifu. Tell me. Tell me. Tai Lung keeps punching Shifu, each strike in time with his words. Each contact his fist made hurt me as much as it did Shifu. With a final punch, Shifu flies to the edge of a pool. With a grunt, he tries to get up. I limp my way over to him, trying to evade Tai Lung's sight. We, we've always been proud of you. From the first moment, we've been proud of you, I say as I limp out into the light. Tai Lung's eyes turn to me, then Shifu, as he says, and it was my pride that blinded me. I, we loved you too much to see what you were becoming, what I was turning you into. I get to Shifu's side and try to help him up. Tai Lung, we, we're sorry, Shifu and I. Uh, Shifu and I finish standing, leaning on each other. Tai Lung's eyes soften as the words sink in. Then he reaches for Shifu, and I step away in the wind. Wait, oh, I was scrolling down. Where was I? <laughs> oh, there it is. And I stepped in the way, grasping my neck. He pushes me to the floor, growling. I don't want your apology. I want my scroll. He lifts me up, and his face changes to one of surprise. What? Where is it? He slams me into the ground, and I let out a whimper as she looks at Tai Lung. Dragon Warrior has taken scroll halfway across China by now. You will never see that scroll, Tai Lung. Shifu tells him, and Tai Lung lets his claws out, pointing them at Shifu, as he tightens his grip on my neck. His paw slowly takes away more and more of my air, as he presses his claw to Shifu's chest, right above his heart. My vision slowly begins to dim before I hear a yell of, Hey! Oh, it's Poe. Holy shit. We get to wrap up the story the next time that we read it, I think? Question mark? Probably. <laughs> I don't know what Will Smith did. It's just, it's just there. <laughs> yeah, Will Smith did nothing. <laughs> it was a 2v1. At least, you know, change, change you know. I guess. Provide some support. I thought we were going to have even more, too, as... as I guess if you can't afford to watch Kung Fu Panda 1, this is the book for you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah if, you, if you can't afford to watch it, this is almost word for word. Yeah. This Special is guest starring Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Who won one guest star Will Smith on this project? <laughs> Whose favorite snack is caviar, and it is very important. Yeah. For one chapter, for one sentence. I'm actually so confused why that was a thing. I don't know. I don't know why we couldn't just pay attention to what what the story was instead of thinking about caviar. But you know what? I still give this book a 7 out of 10. This is pretty good. Oh, maybe it'll get better after we do the whole Tai Lung thing. We'll have quality time with Shifu. Who knows? Yeah, you can read that. Yeah, I will. But you know what, I guess, I guess it's time now. We gotta spin the wheel behind the Walmart dumpster to see what we read next time. Oh boy. Yay! <laughs> Alright, we have a lot of things on the wheel. Let's hope one of them is good. <laughs> I think I got a chip in my eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got what? Chip. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. Oh shit, you know what I forgot about? <laughs> The, no. la the last time that we read Zosan, the, the book that we have, it like ended on like almost smut. So I think the next chapter we read is just smut. Oh my god. So I'll be reading that chapter. 
Alright. Aren't you excited? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're actually mad disappointed right now. I mean... I don't- I don't know what I expected. <laughs> it just wasn't this, and I hate it. <laughs> you know what, even though you know, it's gonna start off, it's my- it's a really good book, and I can't wait to read it. But I gotta wait a week! <laughs> I don't wanna wait a week. I only anyway. have a week left. Before yeah. I suffer. <laughs> You're Italian. It's what is it like the Majora's Mask thing with the moon is like 72 hours remain. <laughs> no. With the ticking clock. <laughs> and like my freedom, my knowledge of knowing this exists ends in in a week. <laughs> huh. But you know what? Very fun. And I enjoyed this game very this game <laughs> this book very, very much. <laughs> the game now? Yeah. I guess I I, know, I got distracted because someone started playing a game, so I just, <laughs> just said the word game. You can, you can see how my brain operates. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> but uh, in somewhere on screen is a playlist with uh, with other Wattpad readings that you guys can watch, I guess, listen to. You guys can fucking treat it like a podcast. <laughs> and then, uh, thank you for Minho for joining me for another Wattpad reading. I really appreciate it, dog. <laughs> of course. Yep, yeah, but, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Goodbye.